one issue, two points of view. Agora. Is freedom of mobility in Europe a reality or is it an unfulfilled aspiration in a treaty text somewhere? A member of Portugal's parliament and the head of the Pierre Werner Institute in Luxembourg promoting intra-European understanding, José Pacheco Pereira and Mario Hirsch came together to discuss integration and migration. This was organized with the Jeune Chambre Économique in the Grand Duchy. It's a debate in which the presence of Roma people in France and elsewhere has focused renewed attention. As we have learned after the French debate about the Rome, that it's not, not enough to be a European citizen to make use of the freedom of, of uh, labor, but you have to prove that you have your own means to survive, that you have an income, a decent income, or more than decent income, and so on and so forth. So there are restrictions to mobility, even though this is one of the four freedoms that have characterized the European integration process for so long by now. Because one thing is theory, another thing is reality. Yeah. So as you can see, with the, the, already during the debate on the European Constitution, you have the Polish plumber. Yeah. And now you have the, 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 the Roma gypsies. In, the reality is that economic difference, poverty, exclusion from different parts of European population means something. So it's really, there is an important difference between the official speeches about Europe and the fact that really there is not European citizenship in the a very concrete form. You mentioned European citizenship. It is still a concept now uh, going back to the Maastricht Treaty, which has established it. But it's still more or less empty, except if you talk about voting rights uh, at local uh, elections for uh, European citizens living abroad. There is not much substance to it. But there is, there is furthermore, the impression one gets now is that not only is there no such thing as European citizenship in the full meaning of the word, but it seems that European citizens, some of them are more equal than others. What I think is that in the last 20 years there was an acceleration on European unity. We accept countries who really don't fulfill the conditions that in the beginning we want countries like Portugal, Spain uh, to fulfill. That means that countries like Romania and Bulgaria come inside the European Union in a very different situation. And if we, we were not hypocritical in relation to this situation, we would accept that these countries need a lot of help. Mm -hmm. You see in Romania that there was a lot of troubles to create a stable democracy. It's like in my own country after the 74. So you, you, you in fact integrate all these countries by political reasons. And this was made without any kind of care. And so the problems come after. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the case of the, the Roma in France is only one part of the problem that come after. And uh, I think that we must leave a lot of hypocrisy about Europe, about European citizenship. That is wishful thinking most of the times. And so we must be more prudent and begin at lower level. Mm -hmm. And then to try to build a society with enough upward mobility to really integrate all the people inside Europe. Mm. That means equal opportunity, uh, economic growth, and in periods of crisis this is very difficult. Mm. I think that these kind of problems are going to, to be worse in the near future. Yeah. You mentioned uh, the uh, two countries, Romania and Bulgaria. But this applied even to other countries that joined the, the Union later on. Poland? Yeah. 
I remember with Portugal, with Port when Portugal joined Luxembourg, asked for a transition period of seven, five years before the free circulation of people could enter in force. Why did we do that? Because at that time we went through a serious economic crisis and uh, the need to have new labor was not that present. But we found out that we did not need that. We were even happy to get to still get enough Portuguese citizens uh, wanting to, to go look for a job here. But for all the other new member states, especially the Eastern European ones, these transition periods have been applied. The problem is that you don't have an Europe at the same political level if Europe is not at the same economic level. Mm, yeah. And if you don't have a will of the citizens of different countries to have some kind of European patriotism. Mm. That's, that's the difference with the United States. Mm, yeah. in, the, in the discussions on the European Constitution, there was people saying that they want to do a Europe similar to the United States. There is a crucial difference. In the United States, there is a feeling of patriotism. Mm, yeah. In Europe, you don't have this kind of feeling. And if you have an economic crisis, like today, you tend to have a rising of nationalist attitudes. What you say about the difference between the United States and Europe is quite interesting. The absence of European patriotism. That has, of course, to do with another difference. In the United States, whoever migrates to the United States is expected to assimilate sooner or later to the, his new environment. Now, in Europe, the notion of assimilation is supposed to be politically not correct. Because the people who reject that notion tend to think that assimilation means that you have to give up, give up your former identity to make an integral striptease, so to speak. Yeah. Which is not necessarily the case, because in the United States one can see that assimilation does not prevent these communities. Even in recent examples, like the boat people, Vietnamese, we arrived yeah, yeah, to the United yeah. States without nothing. They were able to become American citizens, and the fact is that they want to be American citizens. In Europe, for instance, you see the Turkish community in Germany, or even a lot of uh, communities in, in France, they don't want to be French or German. And the United States, all those communities maintain their identity. So uh, we, would it make sense to adopt another American concept, the melting pot idea? Yeah, of course, of course. I think so. Of course. The melting pot. But melting pot is only possible in a society who really has upward mobility. Yeah, yeah. Not only on economic terms, yeah. but also in cultural and social terms. Yeah, yeah.